Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So, uh, before we get started today, there's a couple of things I want to talk about. Uh, one, we've been having an issue, uh, if we have a look at the star map now. Um, so, there's very few planets out here in clan space that have a, a very low skull rating. So, let's have a look here real quick. We hit F2. Uh, well, the smaller the dot, the smaller the... Uh, um, skull rating. So right now we're at a one skull planet. This, these are half skull worlds and the, the worlds that lead out of here are half skull worlds but there's like only a couple of them that are, are really low skull planets. Uh, right now Jade Falcon only controls this world here and a little bit of, well it used to control a little bit of this world but it doesn't anymore. Um, so oh, Jade Falcon's a little bit over here. So what we want to try and do, we want to try to do a couple of things. Um, there's a few of these worlds that are a little bit contested. Um, what I want to do, uh, Clan Wolf is like taking over a lot of stuff here. So I think what I want to do is, uh, if we're going to focus on moving against some of the clans, we want to take missions that are going against Clan Wolf. Uh, we're going to ally with Steel Viper here as well as Jade Falcon, obviously. Um, so if we can take as many um, uh, Jade Falcon missions... Um, uh, Steel Viper missions against Clan Wolf. We're going to do that. Try and weaken their position here. Allow for more strength for these two clans. And hopefully uh, allow a lot more strength for Jade Falcon in the end. Uh, so in order to do that, we need to do a couple things. One, we need to be able to take these contracts to be able to, like higher level contracts to be able to pull that off. With the mechs we have, that's just not going to happen. Uh, so uh, one of the suggestions was, and I think it was, was it Orpheus? I think the name was Orpheus Overdrive. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm terrible with names. Uh, suggested that perhaps what we should do is in the settings under difficulty, we should shift the contract variance to like you know five. So skull planets that are like four skull planets still have a, a an opportunity to generate one and a half skull missions. Um, I think that's probably a good idea. The only issue that I have with that right at the moment. Um, is if we're jumping back and forth uh, between, like, you know, a one skull world and a half skull world, that means the contracts could go up to three um, or three and a half skulls, and that means a lot of them are going to be out of our range. So we'll be getting less missions available to us per planet, but we'll have more planets we can go to that we can hopefully take a few missions on. So I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll shift the difficulty when we decide to go to, like, a world that's contested with Jade Falcon, um, that's around four skulls. We'll shift it all the way up and then we'll go there and we'll try things that way. But right now I think we'll leave it at two for now. Um, so what I want to do is, uh, we've got a couple of pilots that are down, Griff and Sundance are out, but we have four days left before the next financial report. So what I want to do is maximize our time here. So we're going to go to the command center into the contracts and we're going to take hostile acquisitions. So this is an ambush convoy mission against the pirates. Um, and we're gonna just gonna grab this. We're gonna jump straight in. Now we're gonna go. I think. Mm, I think I want to go more sea bills on this. I think maybe we should just go full out sea bills and try and kill the convoy and get out. Although I do like the fact that going one of four, we have a chance to pick up something. So let's go this route. Um, and we're gonna run our lance this way. Now the reason why I'm doing this, here's what I want to do. Um, we've um, gave blockade uh, tactics five, so he's got he's got um, tactician now which gives him minus 50% critical hits, bonus initiative, things like that. And we've got two of our mech pilots here that have ace pilot now. So we want to do a little bit of hit and running here I think, using blockade in the storm crow to kind of tank this but then using the nova and the and uh, the Grinner as our um, hit and run max and then the adder just to kind of float around on the outside. Uh, so let's deploy this and get it done. Alright guys, so here we are on the surface. Um, to be honest, this is the second stab at doing this one. The, <laughs> uh, the last mission I had to restart because um, I lost um, both the Storm Crow and the Nor Nova. Um, they had a, a uh, gorilla, which is a 55-ton bushwhacker chass chassis mech that just simply wrecked us. And they also had a wolfhound, and um, 
the vehicles that we were sent here to kill were really easy to kill, but um, those two max and I, I didn't even see the other two. I think one was in Arrhenia because I was being shot at by two PPCs, uh, snub-nosed, and there was an auto cannon mech at the back, and they just hammered us. That gorilla just shredded us to pieces. So, um, yeah, uh, and I, I just couldn't do anything about it, unfortunately. So I'm redoing this one. Uh, in the interest of uh, keeping the series moving forward, yeah. one of the reasons why I don't like uh, playing Iron Man mode, like I said, I'm not the best in the world, so on occasions that kind of stuff will happen. All right, so if we're basing this off what happened last time, which I don't like doing, this is kind of what we did last time anyway, um, the vehicles got up here fast. And basically, my idea was to use Mockingbird and El Juche to kind of crest the hill, fire on them, and then fire and back up again. Um, but I guess because we had slightly higher initiative in one turn, um, Mockingbird got to crest the hill. Or sorry, not Mockingbird, um, El Duce got to crest the hill with the Nova. Um, and we fired and killed the vehicle, and then all four of their mechs fired on us. And we became unstable. We lost the initiative the next round, and then they all shot on me again and wiped the mech out. It was like that fast. So, Confirm. anyway, so we're going to attempt to do something very similar here. I have no idea what we're going to be up against, but coming around this way, you're going to use the hills as cover here. Um, our extraction point is over here. Although, in my defense, we did destroy four vehicles and we got out of here with two mechs, but still, it was like... <sighs> we had to flee. Flee in terror. Alright. Ex Mortis, okay. So with a new initiative, it's like, it's really rolling the dice whether or not um, you're going to have initiative before them, right? You might have one turn, and, you know, you might go before all of them, and then the next turn they might all go before you. So they get two shots at you, and there's nothing you can do about it. So I think rather than cresting the hill, I think we'll just use this let their vehicles get use their speed to get up here. They've got to make their way around this road here, which means this is a kill zone. So as long as their mechs, depending on what they are, don't get eyes on, and they're only shooting an LRM-5 on us, we might be okay. Yep, shiz happens. I. But of course not cresting the hill means we can't visually see them either, so... We'll wait for sensor range. Come on. Just going to reserve. Okay, he's right there. I think we can afford to wait like a whole nother turn. Let more of these vehicles get up here. Because once they come around here we should be able to smoke them quick and get out. Alright, I have no idea what that was. Holding for tactical advantage.
Well, oh, for Christ's sake. Okay, let's finish this guy up if we can. Roger. Keep it up. Yes, Commander. Move order received. Um, jammed by ECM, eh? Fire some HE. Okay. Okay, what do we got here? Raven 4L, X Mortis. Uh, it doesn't look good. Gotcha. Okay, it's got a boomstick on it. And target the vehicle after we worry about this ex mortis, I think. And we're gonna fire everything. Okay, we should be going before most of this stuff. Just don't shoot me in the head again. Okay, let's see if we can get lucky on this guy. Gonna split the targets up here. Gonna go this way. Roger that. Okay, nice. We did get lucky on that one. Okay, another hit. Do chase next. Come on. Oh. He was right up on us. Didn't even see him. Okay, this is a much better uh, enemy lance to be facing at this point. Standing by. Double time. Let's go. All right, firing at everything. That should put him on the ground. Commander? So I've been consider considering the melee thing. You know, as clans, you're technically not supposed to melee. Because they don't generally do it, but we are freeborn, right? So we could just say screw the rules. Uh, I think I want to try and target this guy. Let's fire. Okay, what are they doing? They got another vehicle back there and probably another mech somewhere. That's what scares me. At least I'm not getting hammered like the last time. My god, I remember coming up over this hill and just seeing one vehicle and nothing else. And then out of nowhere, that friggin' gorilla opened- Oh, for Christ's sake. The gorilla opened up on us and it was just shredding us. It was over here. Gorilla came from here. Then the uh, wolf found was in here. We killed all the vehicles finally, but it didn't matter. By the time we were back here, the uh, Nova got shredded here, and the uh, uh, Stormcrow got shredded over here. Yes, Commander. Location confirmed. Oh, 
Target locked. Okay. That's it for that guy. Critical hit, Commander. Oh, no, I thought it was. I guess he doesn't have an XL engine. Alright. At least he can't get on us. Commander. On it. Okay, this vehicle here. Got the most armor, so let's fire on this guy. Ah, really? Heh, <laughs> parking right in the corpse of your other guy, eh? It's fine. Yes, Commander. Okay, see if we can smoke this guy. Okay, that's good. There's another raven back there somewhere too. Like there's two ravens. And something. Maybe there's only three mechs. We'll know as soon as this guy goes down this turn, I think. Alright, what are they doing? You know what kind of video I'd like to see? I'd like to see somebody do something showing the effects of the ECM. Like when you read the stats, that's one thing. Let's just do this. Right? But once you see it on the map board, it kind of it comes into... Um, good reference so you have at least an idea of what you're looking at. Reporting critical hit. So what I mean is, so like let's say this is the Stormcrow, right? And it's got, you know, Guardian ECM, right? What it affects. And then if it's got like a Warfare Suite, right? That's got like a 240 meter bubble that affects with plus four. I want to know what I'm dealing with here and what how far away the enemy would be and how invisible we would be to their sensor checks. I mean I, I'm I'm assuming it all comes down to how good your sensors are. But if anybody knows, drop it in the comments section down below. I'd really be interested in that. Oh, not enough, really? That's enough. That's a kill. It is. We have no idea. Shit, that's a... Alright, we got one shot left in this guy. We should be able to take him out. I thought for a second there he was going to make it away. Make it out. Commander. Um... I'm not sticking around. We're not getting good salvage out of this, so why why stay? Finish this guy up. Well, that's one less vehicle. It sure is. So we got two pilots now with head hits. So we're going to be sitting out for a while here.
Pew. No idea how many guys I got left. Oh. Definitely got three, but I have no idea what they are. I have no intent on chasing them down either. At least they're not friggin' bushwhackers or gorillas or whatever. Just want to finish this up now, and these guys are just taking forever. Grip Raven G. Raven G, Raven G. Backstabber. Reporting serious armor loss. Definitely got machine gun arrays. Okay, he's planning on doing something, but I guess I have no idea what he's planning on doing. Yeah, I'm just gonna shoot him if we get lucky, we get lucky. If not, well, whatever. We got a head hit on him. Alright, we're out of here. Let's go get our money. Alright. What do we got here? 538,000, not bad, but we'll spend over 100,000 of that re on repairs. <laughs> no, not quite that bad. Alright, we didn't take any internal damage, which is always a good thing. Unlike the last time. X mortis part, no thanks. Chainsaw, no thanks. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Light machine gun, eh. Regular ECM, preferred the clans. Engine fuel cells, how much are these worth? That's worth a lot. We can just sell that. Lower melee actuator. Prototype double heat sink. Now, do you need to have a prototype double heat sink kit? To be able to use these? Spiked helmet. I think I want the cash more than anything anyway. So let's go with the double the engine fuel cell. And we'll sell it. Oh we got two of them. Nice. And an X mortis part. Okay, cool. Alright. Hmm. Twenty-two thousand, not bad. Six days for repairs. So it puts us past the financial report. Let's go to the store real quick. And there's nothing really here that we want. Uh, maybe that. Find out in a second. I want to go back and have a look at my uh, Storm Crow here. So let's sell these guys. That's like a whole month. And we want to keep the rest of the stuff, I think. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at the Storm Crow. And what do we are... We can't really have a look at it yet. I have no idea what's in the head. Okay, you know what they should do, though? You should be allowed to see what is in here. This whole stop work thing is really fucking annoying. You should be able to still scroll through this. Um... It's like, so are you, you know, I know you're walking down to the mech bay, but uh, you're not allowed to uh, look at your mechs. It's like, what? What do you mean? <laughs> I can't look at my mechs. Uh, okay, so we talked about selling internal like, inner sphere guys. Ex Mortis, we probably might want to hang on to. This commando we can get rid of. Uh, we can sell eventually. I'm not going to do it right now, but force her part. Um, we'll figure it out later. All right, so we do have a bit of currency right now. Let's have a look at the contracts. We still got a bunch more we can do here. Uh, looks like there's another contract that kind of popped up here. The Clan Wolf, we don't want that. We want to take all the uh, um, Steel Viper uh, things here. So we're going to take One Man's Art, I think, next. Mm. 
Escort mission, maybe that's a little long, I think. Maybe we can take the bait. We have our good pilots back, I think. So let's just wait it out here. Yeah, see. Can't get access to the black markets, no big deal. If we can't get clan tech, what's the point, right? See, that's the other thing too. It's like once you're in the once you've got all clan tech, um, yes, it's difficult. The fighting is difficult out here. I will say that, no doubt about it. Uh, one more day, there we go. So we got some people back. Um, that, but once you've maxed out here, there's like nowhere to go, right? Um, so I like the inner sphere stuff. You build it up, then you can go fight the clans, and then you got to build up from there again. Um, but anyway, moving on. Contracts. Let's try and take the bait, I think. Can I always bail if it's a big deal? General. Let's go take the bait. You never know what this is going to be. Uh, since we're doing okay, let's go full salvage. We're just going to cover our drop costs on this one. Uh, standard Lance. El Duce can move down, blockade. Actually, let's switch these two around. Uh, Griff is coming back. And six pack, I guess. Yep, I guess that's it. Let's do this and see what we get. All right, let's hope we're just facing five guys here. Yeah. I should have brought some diapers. I think I'm going to crap my pants in this one. Um, okay. Orders. Roger. Full speed. Scout out this side for me, please. Once again, this map, usually the reinforcements show up on this side over here, which is why I'm headed this way. On the move. Full speed. Now, I gotta remember to shield the Nova's right side. Okay, here are vehicles. Orders. Which means we can prey upon reinforcements first. Hopefully kill them and then engage whatever this is. Okay, here are vehicles. I don't know, man. Do we get right down on these guys? Should we try it? I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. They're heading your way. Don't see any reinforcements. They're there, though. Duce. Not much of a leader, if you ask me. Let's get down here. On my way. Double time. So if these are only vehicle reinforcements, this is Clan Wolf, so... We might be able to get some good junk off these vehicles. Still nothing. So he's giving me contacts over there. Just can't see them. That guy's just gonna sit up there. Like a big fat turkey. Oh, for Christ's sake, are you serious? I don't even know what to say to that. Except thank you for for the vehicle kill. Okay, looks like there's only three units here. 
Oh man, I need the wolfhound. Sorry, I need the uh, the grinner right here, right now, because there's no other place that he should rather be. Come on, figure out what you're doing. Fifty-five tons. It's a lot of shiz. Oh, are you serious? You're an idiot. Although I guess you know what he's not. If he did turn to fire against me, we can just get on his backside. Good to go. Um. Okay, that guy's gone. Let's take care of the Zora. Not quite enough, eh? Okay, so we're going to target both these guys, this guy and this guy, and we'll put these ones on B and two on A. Alright, that should be enough on that guy. Okay. Yes, Commander. Luce. Hmm. I don't trust that guy behind us. Let's get up here. Uh, yep. Dumping everything into him. Oh, yeah. Badass. Jenner 2C. Okay. We got lucky. Get over here. Yeah, fire everything. Hmm. Oh, it hit too. Enemy massive critical damage detected. Aye, aye. Move into position. And yeah, fire it all. Yep. Ah, uh, let's just go with normal. And fire. Better chance to hit. Hopefully there's just one guy over here. Where are you going, buddy? Come on, bring it in. Group hug. Nope. Not today, I guess. Yes. Enemy contact. All right. Well, can't target them. Ready for orders. Can from here. Got it. A little hot, but we can leave one off. Copy that. Receiving you. Luce. Finish this up, buddy. That hit something good. Just need to walk it out. No sense in running. Fire it all. all 
Wow, it sounded like something got damaged, but I didn't hit, did I? Didn't look like it. I should this time, though. Right? Right? Hit? There we go. Problem solved. Let's go home. Alright, well, I don't take this uh, mission as a huge success, but we can get some parts anyway out of it. And eh, no real damage. I don't even think we got it. Well, we did get hit. It's just a storm crow. Oh, we could take a Jenner 2C. Really, really tempted to do that. Oh, we got an ERPPC too. But I don't want these guys. Not yet, anyway. We want the smaller weapons. Medium heavy lasers, not really. I mean, we could. Yeah, I don't know. I was thinking we could replace the um, ER large lasers in the Storm Crow with these. But with a really shorter range on these, I don't think it's worth it. Streak 6. It's a possibility. Plus one accuracy and evasion pips ignored. Uh, energy fuel cell again. Advanced fire control system clan. Artemis system as well. We've got one right now. ATM, HE ammo. Jeez, I don't know. We could go with the LBX fives. I think, you know what? I think I want to do that and complete the Jenner 2C. I think I want to pick up the ATM-6. Two evasion pips in NOR plus one accuracy with these guys. They're heavier in weight, but they do more damage too for less heat. 540 meter range. I don't know, LBX-5s? We got plenty of chance to get other stuff in the future. Let's go this right way. We we're guaranteed to get a Jenner this way. Oh wow, we got four parts. Vapor Eagle part. We got the ERPPC and the LBX five. Nice. LRM ten. Nice. Um, streak ammo and an SRM two. Okay, not too bad. Smoke Jaguar took Iron Hold from Wolf. Okay, good. Wolf took Tamron from Hell's Horses. Eh. Okay, there's the Jenner. Let's see what we can get off this thing. 9,000 repairs, which is nothing, which is good. So let's have a quick look at the Jenner. So I think what we'll do next episode is most likely we will um, take the escort mission, but I think I want, we've got enough gear now, I think we can have a look at refitting some of our mechs. Um, and I think we're sorely in need of doing that. We do have a bit of currency, so we're okay there. Um... Uh, I didn't get much off this guy. Let's have a look at him. Well, we got the core. Double heatsink kit clan. Pharaoh. 110,000 to repair. Um, streak ammo. Streak 6. Some jump jets. Streak 4. Actually, we got a lot of half decent stuff off this guy. Let's repair him, and then what we'll do is we'll put him in storage after that. It's only 110,000. Let's confirm that. What? Needs to lose. What? All right, let's just pull out the components. 
That should do it. All right. So let's just have a look at the Stormcrow first, too. I don't want to forget about that fire control system in the um, store. So let's have a look at the mech base, Stormcrow. Do we have energy fire control system in this guy? We don't have anything. So... What do we want to do with this guy? Mm. We have ballistic fire control, which we can't use on this guy, but the warfare suite would be really nice on this guy. So let's see what we've got loadout wise. So let's go to the store first. And let's buy that uh, fire control system energy with plus one to hit because we're having a really bad chance to hit with this guy. So let's buy this to start. New equipment available. Um, and drop that in. Okay, and then let's have a look at... We don't have anything else that can go in the head. UAV goes in the body. Yeah. Um... Nothing else head-wise. Warfare Suite is what, three tons? It would definitely be an advantage for this guy to have it. So what we could do, um, we got plenty of ER mediums. I gotta say, I'm definitely liking the 60 damage here for 40 heat, whereas ER medium is 33 for, tw well, you know, we could go for volume. Like if we take off, we go, we're limited space too, right? That's the other thing. So what's our heat sinking right now? Pretty darn good. So if we pull out the two ER larges, just for the sake of argument here for a second, put in a couple of e more ER mediums. Warf we don't have room for the warfare suite then still we'd have to be like yanking out double heat sinks and stuff so what are we at heat wise now we got tons of heat sinking these guys should really not be like in the arms um Still really good heat-wise here. Warfare Suite can definitely fit in now. Let's put double heat sink in the center torso. Um, and then let's see what we can do to max out the armor. Still got lots of weight left over after we do that. It's one of the reasons why we got smoked on that mission. It's the lack of armor, man. That gorilla. You guys didn't get a chance to see it, but that gorilla did a number on us, man. Um, Clan XL. Engine shielding already what? Installed on mech. I guess it's already built in. Which means these are useless unless we don't unless we find something that's not an omni mech. Okay. Clan Pharaoh, we got two tons left. What's our heat sinking? Pretty darn good. Let's have a look at the weapons here. Five rounds. Micro pulse lasers, that's if we're meleeing. Small pulses. A lot of weight for the damage. Uh, 
Something like that. I think that's probably pretty good. Goes 6 ER mediums. The plus 1 energy. Warfare suite, which is going to help the entire group out. It's one of the things we're sorely lacking. It's a 10 day fix, but we're going to confirm this for 72,000. Maxed out the armor. So let's have a look at the Nova now. So we added everything to the one arm. No, we didn't. It's in two arms. Why did I think it was in one arm? Because you're an idiot, that's why. Ah, that would make sense. Um... Just thinking, that's like, it's lighter for two of these than it is for one of these. Okay, um, alright, fair enough, fair enough. Um, let's get some ferrofibrous in this guy. Armor's already maxed out, now do we have we not pick up case? I guess we didn't. Oh, wait, but we got this though. One ton. Oh, we can't use this with the Artemis. Right, because of the accuracy. Well, that would make sense. Let's put a UAV on him. Simply because we can. What's the heat efficiency on this guy? Pretty darn good. And I think what we do is um, ER medium. What do you think? Small pulse. Eight times three damage, fifteen heat, three sixty. Yeah, I think that's probably the better of the two to go with. But let's put that in the head. We can't. No energy hard points in the head. Alright. Alright. Well, sure. Let's put it on the opposite side of the ammo. And then do that. So our armor is completely maxed out now. So we're just short slightly and a little bit overheat, but not much. So let's confirm uh, 190. Really? What is costing me that much money? The ferro fibers cost that much to put in? Really? Oops, sorry, confirm. That's insane. I think I saw that before too. Um, anything we can do to the grinner here? I don't think so. No, I think, well, we could try and up the armor slightly by putting in a uh, patchwork material. We do that. Something like that. Ooh, we got one more. There we go. I think that'll help too. Let's confirm that. It's only 49,000 for three days. Log and note. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, now the adder. Cougar's got no armor. It's already got a lot of stuff fitted in this thing. So let's pull out the gauze rifle for a second.
What ammo do we have for ballistic? Not a lot, right? Nope. What's in the store? What is in the store? Ballistic. Ammo. Regular AC-5, regular AC-10. Whole lot of nothing. That's 12 tons. That's 10 tons. Could buy three tons of ammo and put an Ultra 10 in instead. It's a chance to jam though. It's only got a recoil of one. It's got three ER mediums. What if we change this into a missile boat instead? We got tons of LRMs right now. Right? 15. Oh, we've only got one missile point on each of the torsos, really? Oh, we got two on this side. I see. And we could buy some LRM ammo. And then we need some heat sinking. Pull these out of the arms. Put an ER medium in each arm. And a bunch of LRMs. What is this giving us right now? That's not that's not bad. A couple more double heat sinks. How to do it? Yep. Oh, we need ammo. Yeah, that's one thing we're definitely gonna need is some ammo. You think? I don't know, guys. Think we can run with no ammo? Um, let's have a look at the store here. Let's hope they got LRM ammo. They should. Ammo, LRM. Let's buy... See, we'll be shooting 30 shots. So this is like... 4, 8, 12 rounds of firing continuously. So 3 tons. We'd have to pull out 2 double heat sinks. Yeah, and if you consider, we probably won't be firing the LRMs all the time. I think we want to change this around. Shield this side. That's actually not too bad. If we leave one of the ER mediums off for now, every once in a while, it's a pretty good alpha strike. Actually, it's not too bad, the Cougar. The layout. 22,000 in two days. I think I could live with this, with the LRM build. I'm looking, I'm staring at the uh, SRM Inferno ammo and the streaks. We know we got a streak six. And a streak four. We've got the streak six coming from the, uh, and a streak. Well, no, I think this one already came off the, uh, the Jenner. But we got a streak six coming from the Jenner as well. That's a possibility for other loadouts too, right? Let's consider this first. Let's confirm this. I meant to do this next episode, but I got wrapped up. We'll do it this episode. Um, yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Let them repair. And when we come back next time, um, we're still okay for the finance report. See if we can take another mission. Maybe we take the general, the uh, two skull mission. Now that we've got a little bit better uh, mech loadouts here. Um, yeah, and then we'll just get right back into it next time. Done, Excellent. So let's go to the bays. Let's flush that general out for now. Okay. So we're going to leave it there, guys. Uh, if you like the episode, drop a like. Um, 
Also, drop any comments in the comment section down below. Um, so we're going to be taking a few more missions here, I think. Um, and then starting to move worlds. Uh, I'm going to shift the difficulty settings to see if we can take some missions for Jade Falcon. Um, but we'll see how that goes. I want to make sure we have at least three months, maybe four months worth of uh, financial statements saved up before we start jumping and do doing things like that. Because if we have to start jumping planets because we can't find enough missions, I want to make sure that we've got enough sea bills to be able to do that. So yeah, that's just really my thought. All right, so we're going to end the episode there. And until next time, we'll see you later.